Thanks, Taylor. Well, a Carroll County 10 year old has quite the collection at home, but not of the typical things that you might find in a kid's bedroom. He doesn't play video games. Instead, he spends his time antiquing. And there's all kinds of good stuff. Yes, there is. Carroll County fifth grader Michael Cruz just loves talking with his grandfather about going to auctions. That's because he's a collector. This is my bedroom. Not at all an ordinary bedroom for a 10 year old. It's filled with antiques that he's been acquiring since he was about six. This desk was taken out of a church in the 1880s. This was an organ at one time. He has knowledge I cannot believe because he just studies everything. This is a reproduction. I'm trying to find an original. He's like a sponge. He just takes it all in. They say I'm an 80 year old and a 10 year old body. And you never know what's going to catch his eye. From flat irons and vintage typewriters to cameras and antique coffee grinders. And he's now using them, making coffee in them. He's learning a lot about history. He loves to learn the backgrounds of the different things that he collects. And I think it's a great thing. I also like to collect coins and hickory golf clubs made before 1935. He golfs with his great grandfather's set and his newest obsession, clocks. He doesn't just collect them, he fixes them. I have quite a few clocks of my own. I fixed two for my grandparents. I have to find a cuckoo clock for someone I know and I fixed a cuckoo clock as well that hadn't been running in I think 40 years. Don't ask Michael to pick a favorite antique. He just can't and he doesn't plan on getting rid of anything. He needs a lot of space here to outgrowing the house. Sure is. He's got his basement filled up as well too. Really